All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving question 43 from the first chapter of the Beer and Johnson textbook, Mechanics of Materials. And we have two wooden members are joined by plywood splice plate that are fully glued on the contact surfaces. And we know that the clearance between the two ends of the members is six millimeters. So we're talking about the gap between the two plates. So here, so that one's six millimeter. And we know that the ultimate shearing stress in the glue joint is 2.5 megapascal and we need to determine the length l for which the factor of safety is 2.75 so what we have is the ultimate shearing stress 2.5 times 10 to the 6 pascal we have the factor of safety 2.75 and we also need to figure out the length so if you look at this we'll see that we have four separate areas of glue we can consider uh the length of them a maybe so let's just consider a the glued part which is this surface here and also this surface in here and i'll just show it that you can see and obviously we have this gap in between oh actually we have four because we have on each side so we have four of these surfaces the other one's somewhere in here and the other one in here the length is the same we have 125 millimeter as the width but we have also the other side of the rectangle we can call it a and if we call that a the l that we are looking for at the end would be a plus a plus six millimeter or our l would be 2a plus six and we're going to get it in millimeter but the question is how we can find that a so if we look at it we'll see that each glued part transmits half of this 16 so the force that we have basically in here would be one half of what we have as 16 which will be eight kilonewton so each glued part or each of these four surfaces transmits eight kilonewtons force so what we can do in here is that we have the factor of safety which is the ultimate force over the for the force that we have so we can find the ultimate force in here which would be f times the factor of safety 2.75 and that's going to give us 22 kilonewtons so now that we have the ultimate force we also have the ultimate shear stress we know the ultimate shear is equal to the ultimate force or the fu that we found over the area and if we want to find the area as i discussed the area would be the area of the glued part which is basically 125 times a so it's the area of the rectangle we have 125 times a so 125 times a times 10 to the minus 6 that's going to give us our area into meter squared so now uh, all we need to do in here is to put this equal to our fu which was what we found 22 kilonewton we're going to do 22 times 10 to the 3 newtons over the ultimate shear which is 2.5 times 10 to the 6 pascal so we can end up with meter squared on this side which will be cancelled with this side and we can get our a in millimeter since we already applied the unit conversion in here so our this one's based on millimeter so our a has to be millimeter as well so all we need to do in here just to find a which will be basically 22 times 10 to the 3 over 2.5 times these two will be cancel out if we cross multiply these 125 and let's see what we get for a 22,000 divided by 125 divided by 2.5 that's going to give us 70.4 millimeter but keep in mind that's not the final answer what we are looking for is l which is what we found in here so our l would be two times a plus six and that's going to give us a millimeter so times two plus six and this is going to be 146.8 millimeter and the length of 
uh, what we were trying to figure out. So we just have to be careful about the units in here, but uh, not that complicated question. Hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions and you guys take care. I'll see you in the next one.